Welcome to episode number four of the Road to the Show series. Um, today is going to consist of, you know, the basics of how this week's going to go. I'm going to take you guys through it, let you guys know what we're doing. And uh, yeah, baby, we're here. And today we find out what the team's looking like. We're going to find out how many infielders we got, how many outfielders we got, what the pitchers are looking like, how the coaches act when we're on the field. I'm excited. I'm ready to be a part of this. And I'm ready to give it every piece of effort that I got. Hope you guys can enjoy the ride. And uh, if you guys have any thoughts on maybe some meal ideas for sitting in a hotel, let me know in the comments below. Yeah, let's go, baby. Let's have a day. So we just got done with our first official practice. Uh, day number one, I'd say officially. Yesterday was not mandatory. Today was mandatory. Um, we came out here, talked a little bit. We got some stretching in. And then he goes, I don't know what you guys been doing, but we're about to get into shape. Well, luckily, your boy has been getting into shape. So that was not too hard. We did some 50-yard sprints. We did some agility stuff. We did some base running. And then we went and hopped into some defensive work with the whole team, including the pitchers. And uh, we don't know, we just practiced for probably like two and a half hours. So now we got a lunch break. I'm probably going to cop me a rotisserie chicken from uh, Walmart because I'm done eating bullshit. That hurt my tummy. My tummy hurts from Subway. So we're about to get some food. I'll show you guys what I'm eating on. And then we're back to it. Life in the Pecos, baby. Let's ride. It is good. We're back for round two. This time we got BP. So, time to go crank some baseballs. Or suck. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I'll let you know. All right. So, practice number two. GG's done. Uh, what the f did we just do? Came out here, had three rounds of seven BP, and then uh, infielders took some extra work. And I caught some throwdowns from a catcher. All right, brother. What's up, brother? Uh, yeah, man. Not too bad of a day. I'm kind of my wiener feels good right now. That was I needed that for my soul. What, bro? What are you talking about, man? Yeah, not too bad. Two practices a day. Lunch break in between, and we just keep on moving. Update. Good news. We found a grocery store with some goods. And by the way, I was lying. Uh, our room does have a uh, microwave that was hiding. So I don't know what's up with the hotel and hiding place things, places. That was hard English. Um, they hid the, uh, the how to get the water to come out of the top spigot. And then they hid my microwave, not cool. Anyways, we got some pork, we got some chicken, we got some potatoes. We got some glazed apples, some tortillas. And now we're finna get Greek yogurt. Anyways, that's what's on the agenda for right now. So I'll catch you guys uh, whenever I'm eating this shit. Well, I went to the store and then I decided to go out to a Mexican place that was kind of bussin'. But I also decided to get me a nice little workout in. Oh, yeah. Hey, by the way. <laughs> look at those veins. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Creamy. And sorry for all you... Uh, only baseball fans out there. I also like to build my body. Yeah. Fitness. Go team. <clears throat> Basically see bum. Just got a good workout in. Had a little full body, you know, a little full body mess. Just want to get some blood flowing on my arms kind of sore. And we did a lot of sprints today. So I wanted to get some quad and hammy work in because God knows I'll be stiff as shit tomorrow because I haven't sprinted in two months. boy. Yeah, just trying to get a little bit of sun in. Um, haven't got much sun in the last three days, so I figured it'd be good to get a little bit of vitamin D. All right. So look, I don't know if you guys can see what that is. That's a dispo. And if you know me, I haven't in two days. So I'm feeling quite, uh, if you know what I'm saying. But anyways, um, I think I'm going to do a little conclusion on, uh, you know, day one as a team. So I think most of the guys on the team are pretty chill. Most of them are, you know, pretty down to earth, it seems. A lot of cool guys. Got a, a lot of different personalities on the team, not in a bad way. Um, the hotel we're staying at, eh, is what it is. It's a hotel. 
Um, I don't have my car. That's been a bit awkward. I would like to be able to drive to the store and stuff whenever I want, but I'll make do. Um, my swing felt pretty good today. I don't know if I mentioned that. I was sitting the ball hard. I was top spinning it a little bit. So tomorrow I'll make the adjustment. Um, also tomorrow to add, we do have live at bats. So I'll be hitting off a pitcher tomorrow for the first time in a long time. So I'm excited, but it's been a good day. I made, I made a few TikToks made a youtube video which is getting posted tonight which if you're seeing this was probably yesterday um so i'm gonna be trying to post every single day so if you guys can keep up you know the more the merrier and that includes my views that includes presents you get under the tree christmas and that includes door handles on your car if you know you know but anyways it's a good it's a good uh good day like i said made some tiktoks made a youtube video had two practices Got to go work out in and went to the grocery store and got some healthy foods. So I'm happy. Anyways, that is conclusion to episode number four. We're trying to keep these things short and simple. I don't want to take too much of your guys' time. I'm just trying to keep you up to date with what's going on with the guy who's trying his damnedest. Life in the Pecos, baby. It's a wild one, but it's fun and it's a journey nonetheless. God bless. And y'all have a good freaking day, night, morning, whatever the f***.